God wants to uh, guide us on the extent of our dominion. So don't let another person take away your joy, your happiness, because they do not have the capacity and the ability. And even yourself, it's one of those things that you, you stay in your lane. Whether you, um, you're the boss, at times you may find that it's your maid that you're trying to dominate. You're just going to get frustrated because man was not designed to be dominated. Yeah. You're going to find in five years, by the time your child is finishing under five, you have chased how many maids? Ten. And you are still bringing other ones. And even the ones you bring, you chase them. Because man was not designed to be dominated. That's just the truth. So you just have to accept that you can work with anyone. Yeah. Even difficult people. You know there are difficult people in life. Yeah. There are people who are just difficult people. Yeah. And you can still work with a difficult colleague, work with a difficult employee, and still be happy. And still be happy. Because if you're going to look for only people who uh, comply, uh, you're going to have frustration in your life. Because um, every human being was designed by God to have dominion. And so when you try to take my dominion, I try to show you to say, mm -mm, I also was created to have dominion. So even when God says the woman should submit, it is not in the context of making the man to have dominion over the woman. But it is uh, to have governorship, to have order in the house. And, and that headship that God gives the man over the woman is not headship for control. It's headship for guidance and for uh, order in the house. So... I am happy, not because my wife is happy. I am happy because um, God created and gave me the parameters of my happiness. And my happiness have nothing to do with another human being. So you're going to live a happy life. Yeah. At the office, you're going to be happy, regardless of the state of your boss or the state of your employees. At home, the same. Yeah. Yeah. 